What is up guys, Moose here, and today I'm going to be covering a new rocket launcher that has come out today at the Destiny Reset. If you guys are interested in getting your hands on this rocket launcher, I'm going to be streaming at the Destiny Reset, farming for it with viewers. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now the rocket in question here is the Braytech Osprey, and it has been recently introduced into the Nightfall loop pool this season, and is now available for the first time. As for the perks you're going to want to get on this rocket, in the first column you're going to want Quick Launch as it boosts your velocity and your handling to allow for faster swaps. You're going to want to get Impact Casing. This is the best uh, second column perk on a rocket and it increases your damage by 2.2%. A lot of interesting perk combinations on this rocket and I'm going to be testing them all out in a future video but uh, for now I'm just going to recommend the ones that we already know are good. So in the first column, you're going to want either Field Prep or Envious Assassin. Autoloading Holster is also a show if you like to swap with the Izzy, but uh, in my opinion, Envious Assassin and Field Prep are both better options. Field Prep because it gives you an extra rocket when you rally and increases your reload speed by 30 when you're crouching. And the Envious Assassin is good because it allows for 3 maximum in the mag. Now in the second column, you're, there's really only one damage perk here, you're going to want to go for Frenzy, this gives you a 15% damage increase. Uh, you could also go for Lasting Impression, but the thing with this one is you tend to kill yourself a lot with the rockets sticking in the bosses, so if you're good at not doing that, maybe you can go for Lasting Impression, but I know I'm personally going to be going for Frenzy. Now there is uh, another pro combination that I think is very interesting on this rocket, and that's because we have cluster bombs here in the third column. So we can also maybe combine cluster bombs with lasting impression, bipod. I feel like bipod could be a super underrated combo with cluster bombs as long as it doesn't reduce the cluster bomb damage, and we could also compare it with lasting impression if it doesn't decrease the lasting impression damage. I am going to be testing in a future video either tomorrow or the next day, so if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe. And because it is a void weapon, I'm going to be comparing it to the current void rockets we have in the game. Most popular probably being the red herring, this is because it is craftable so you can pick exactly what perks you want on it. This rocket is also capable of rolling with Field Prep and Frenzy, also Lasting Impression, but it does not have Envious Assassin in this third column, which is probably going to be the best perk option. And lastly, we have the Royal Entry. This also comes from the Vanguard and has pretty much every perk in the game on it, um, only having Lasting Impression as a damage option, uh, along with Auto Loading Holster and Field Prep in the third column. But because this rocket is a precision frame, it does less damage than its other frame counterparts. If you guys found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe, and I will be live right when this rocket drops farming it with viewers, so if you are interested in that, once again, make sure to drop a sub with noties on to get notified when I go live. And other than that, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.